All right. Bill Williamson. He's over here in, uh, what you call it? In Rhodes. Over here near the damn butcher. He needs some help. So I'm going to go help him. All right. I'm going to go see what old Bill. I need a goddamn haircut again. Just so we all, just so we're all aware. By the way, my damn horse at? Come on, girl. What are you doing over here? Yeah. How you been, girl? Did you have a good night's sleep? Hmm? I don't know if you're clean or dirty or what, but look. I'm going to give you a little brush. Yep. Yep. Uh, get some of that dust off you. Let's go. Let's go see what old Bill... Every day. Every day when I launch this game and... I see the lighting effects and shit. I forget how beautiful this fucking game is. Yeah. And don't think I forgot that I got robbed for $800 yesterday. <laughs> I ain't forgot. <coughs> shit. I'm a, that dust from my horse got me sneezing. My one goal is to go back and find that son of a bitch that robbed me and kill him. All right, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to find his family. I'm going to kill his goddamn family. If he's got a horse, I'm going to kill it. If he's got a dog, I'm going to kill it. A goldfish, I'm going to drown it. <laughs> got him. Did he die? Oh, he didn't die. Listen, horse. I'm going to need you to kick the shit out of a fox. Don't just love tap it. Okay. Oh, Bill Williamson. Billy Williams. You're, you're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Don't be hitting on Bill. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. Why don't we quit telling they everybody our goddamn plan? Big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... Oh my fucking God! Oh, that fucked me up! Whoo! Motherfucker! Ever kill my friend? I mean, what? Taking some faces off. Look at him! Of course he's dead. Fucking Sean, man. Oh, y'all gonna see me here? That's your way out of here. Time to go crazy. All right, listen. Sit the fuck down. Woo! Don't get up! Don't get up! Can I take a damn? Take a damn! Take cover! Shit, I'm getting fucked up. We need to heal. We need to heal on up. Um, for some reason, my health core is down. So I need to. What's that mean? I need to eat, right? Show me health. There it is. Eat some salmon. Woo! In the middle of a gunfight. Get in! Shit! 
Shit, what am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do? Bitch, I'm trying. Ow! Fuck off me. Oh, break lock. There we go. I'm doing it. I got it. I got it. Oh, shit. Are you dead? Are you dead? Huh? I feel like you are. Hey! Oh, nice. Nice move. You're getting sloppy, Morgan. I apologize. Sean Skull, don't talk to me about slapping. Better in here, not there. Take cover. You sure about that? <laughs> Woo! Sit your ass down. It's over for now. So yeah, thinking the craze might be onto us after all. Now it's taking him. So much for loot. What the loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? Oh, I'm not fucking out of ammo. Still anywhere? Uh, no. Shit. Come on. This Give me that head. Damn posse to graze round it up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. See that? Those cowards are running away. Whew. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come Did on. Bill set us up? Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this. Dude, guy. I'm not gonna lie. When Sean got shot, that fucked me up. I'm in here looting. Why are you in there? Dead as fuck. You. Bring your ass out. You know what? I think I shot Bill in the face. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Shit. Woo! I thought I killed you, Bill. I apologize. I just pulled the right trigger. God damn it, that fucked me up. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty. But you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry and proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. God damn. I was not expecting... Look, I turned on this game... And 10 minutes into my fucking day, Sean gets his goddamn face blown off. Jesus. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things.
fuck, man. I'm a little bit fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit fucked. I don't really know what to do. I wasn't expecting my day to start off like this. We was just chilling, having a good time. Yeah. What's up, girl? Where we at? I want to go get a haircut, but I don't want to go all the way the fuck there. Yep. We really got much of a choice. Let's just take our long ass hair over here to Dutch. Yep. Whew. I was not ready for this. It's Sunday. I just watched the Panthers game. It's having a good day. Decided to come up here and record a couple hours. You know, to stay on track. I need to record at least three hours a day to keep up. And I come in here and the homie Sean just gets fucking executed, man. Fuck. Don't get hysterical. Who? Who are we looking for? Sean? Sean dead as hell. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Oh, shit. Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vanderlyn? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God, right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. We about to ride in hard. God damn, we taking the whole crew. Let's go get that boy back. Hell yeah, let's go. Now this is what the hell I'm talking about. Look, first off, where my damn shotgun at? First, no, 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 no. We want, we want the pump action, and then we want the Lancaster repeater. That's what we want. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. What the fuck, man? Today? I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. We are going to kill every motherfucker with the name Braithwath. With the name Gray. I'll kill every color of the goddamn rainbow. I'm going to kill the yellows, the reds, okay, get your heads the right. purples, Nobody the greens, the I oranges, the blues. I can't think of any more colors. <laughs> the Roy G. Bibbs. We're killing them all. You know, yeah, yeah, you got a dope little driveway, all right, with these dope trees that I feel happy about every time I come down because it's beautiful. That don't mean I won't kill you. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. Good, because I ain't trying to get my horse shot no way. Listen, baby. Listen. No, 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 don't aim the goddamn gun at her. First Stay. Off. Now, Jack, 
We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? All right, what's... we're going to fix this right now. What's up? Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. We're gonna kill every last goddamn morning, of y'all! There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Hello! We're here to kill! Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Where's that goddamn boy at? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Hello up there, you ready to die? Huh? You just say the word. You can all eat it right here. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. One. Come on, give me two. Click! Click! There you go. Take it while I got it. Through the railing, baby! Sit your asses down! Take cover. Take cover. Uh. Come on, wait. Oh, he took cover. Got him. I think you can be up top. Huh? I'm reloading. Give me a damn second. Give me a damn second. Got him. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, you think you can pop out from behind that? Huh? Hold them back. Oh, you got him. Good shit. Nope. Oh. Arthur, John, Hosea with me. The rest of you, watch out here for any other arrivals. Give me a damn second. All right. Get in there. Find Jack and find that fake woman. Shotgun out, baby. It's time to use my favorite weapon. Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Hey, Jack! Where you at, boy? Jack, you in here? Come here, knock this motherfucking door open. Kick this mother... Fuck open! Jack? Oh, shit. Oh! Where your head at? at? Where your head at? Where's your head at? God damn! Sorry, I was too busy blowing the motherfucker's skulls clean out his body. Let's go help Dutch. What'd he say, up? I'm coming, y'all. Y'all don't know how to kick a door open? Huh? I can't run for some damn reason. John, Arthur, we'll hold him down here. We got more coming in. Arthur! Get out there! We got this door covered! Grab the rifle by the chair if you need it! I'm good. Actually, let's go ahead and use a little of this. Come on, click it on! It wouldn't click! Oh, he's already dead, that's why. You're done! Can I aim? He's dead. He's fucked up. Okay. Fucking these boys up. Mm. Fucking them on up. I'm gonna go ahead and reload right quick. Are you gonna shoot me? Oh, missed. Got him. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. 
Where's somebody else's ass at? Are y'all on this side? Got that some bitch too. Go ahead and reload, reload, reload. Shoot that motherfucker! Oh, he ran. You better, you better handle that. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Take cover. Take his damn head off. Take his damn head off. Quit missing. There you go. Come on, kill him! Oh shit, reload, reload. Got him. One bullet, one bullet left. Reload. Y'all can't hit shit. Y'all can't hit me! Are you dead? Everybody's dead. Let's find a way into that room. What about right here? Hang on, hang on. Try! I can't see a goddamn thing! Watch out, John. Let me show you how a real man does this. The fuck out the way, John! One, two, three! Ah! Woo! Don't worry about it, John. I got it. I got it. We handled it in here. Execute this bitch. You want me to kill you two old woman? You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. Shoot this right. bitch in the, in the damn kneecaps. Shoot in the kneecaps. Can I rob this bitch's house? I can't. Drag that bitch out of here! I hope we search well enough. Listen here, bitch. You got that one, Arthur? Who? Guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. There's some goodies in here, man. We could have looted all this shit. You fucked with the wrong one, old lady. Put me down, dumb Yankee. Watch it burn, bitch. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there, we're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. We should have killed that bitch. This shit is heating up. Literally. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. 
You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A Aw, solution. hell. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Ha. Oh, good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're <laughs> aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live in love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. Well, you You're got our vote. A big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us, Mr. Milton. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get Why your don't we kill this motherfucker right now? Really? What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Oh, Place yeah. Well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back and we'll get gone. Rest of you get packing! Jesus, on, this is crazy. Jesus, I just want to be able to sit somewhere long enough. I know the way. Stay close now. I'm tired of having my motherfuckers be like, "Wait up, we gotta stick together." Why don't you get the fuck up off me, John? We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. Or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, 
How many people we killed the past few weeks? I don't know. I was wondering that the other day. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now you can't put all this on Dutch. All right, you can't. But you got to hang on a second because I got to feed my horse. It's a little bit hungry. You're I got a nice, up. got a nice peach for you. Careful, Arthur. There you go, baby. Don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. It's like you were saying before. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? Probably not. I Why you gonna sure. run into me, motherfucker? All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Why wouldn't we pull them up to the front of the house? Fucking crazy person. All right. Oh, shit. It's them again. Yep. Oh, Surprise. Still some here. I can see that. Anybody else? You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Hello? Anybody want to get their shot? Their face shot off? Hey! Doing alright? What else? What else we got? Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting for you. Do you? Come out with your hands up. You can still walk out of here. Oh, I'm gonna be real happy. Come here, motherfucker. Guess up. what? Surprise! I oh, knew shit. you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. Um. Bounty hunters. The freedmen. The fucking gun down, old man! What are you thinking? What the fuck you was about to do? <laughs> I blew his goddamn beard off. You think you're tough, Yankee? Come in here and fight me like a man. How about I just do this, bitch? Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? I wasn't looking up there. There's, I think a, we're clear. there's a bunch of headless motherfuckers up here. Come help me with this, will you? All right. What am I helping you with? What was you doing out here, here, by the way? Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Well, they gonna be- there's fucking brain matter and pieces of face and shit all upstairs. So... Bitch, I'm- I'm busy! Follow me. John, I know how to get rid of a goddamn dead body. Alright? What about the ones on the porch? Are you already cleaned them up? We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. All right. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. I'm allergic to dead people. And yeah. 
<laughs> um. Come on, get in there. Okay. Oh shit. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. <laughs> I'm allergic to the damn swamp. Anybody else here? Anybody sneaking in the back door want to get killed? I got to do this for all three goddamn bodies? All right, old man, listen. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come on. Can I just, can I open this door? Yep. Can I throw him over the rail? Come on, throw him. Eh, throw him. Throw him. Eh. Jump. Throw him over. Throw him. Fuck. Gotta do this the hard way, huh? This bitch ain't got no head, though, so that's, uh... That's pretty gross. Alright? That's pretty damn gross. I better not have to make this walk three fucking times. One of these times, I'm gonna walk over here, and I'm gonna have to fight somebody. We already know that. Alligator, look, you want some food? Huh? Oh, here. There's some food for you. Okay. So I only had to do one. Welcome home, all you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Please, so I can learn another fucking... Take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Another Let's camp layout. Guess. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. You can have a word with me? Dutch, I think she thinks you're fucking somebody else, by the way. And she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Bitch, I've been there before. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. All right. How much money have we stole? I feel like we stole a fuck ton. All right, so what the hell have you been doing with it? Because when I give the damn camp my cut... Half of $20,000 is $10,000 goddamn dollars. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Ugh. It made that shit look terrible. Big cities. They're always repellent. They 
Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. I'm gonna go see about getting a haircut, bitch. What hell are you talking about? I thought I died for a second. Chapter 4, St. Dennis. Or what'd they say, Saint Denis? Saint Denis! Well, well, well! The town of Saint Denis! Shut the hell up. I'm only worried about one thing. Um, where's my barber at? I mean, I see that it's locked. Right, I see that. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. Why didn't I put the damn... There you go. I see that it's locked, but I'm hoping... It's gonna unlock. But maybe it's trying to force me to... To do a mission. I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. I still don't give a shit about Gavin, sir. Gavin. Still don't give a shit about Gavin. Where the hell are you? Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm looking for my friend. Motherfucker that stole 800 goddamn dollars from me. Have you seen him? Huh? If you have, let me know. Pardon you. Damn right. We're gonna do this mission because everything's still closed. Monsieur? Monsieur? I gotta I gotta do at least one of these missions. Stick him up, cowboy. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. At least I got my shotgun on my back. Hey, motherfuckers! The baddest motherfucker alive is here! How you doing? Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. Hey, bartender. Excuse me. That's the state of Bring your ass. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born Hello? and raised. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? Give me some fucking like whiskey. whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. Ah, For shit. Whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me, motherfucker. Hey, I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Let me tell you something. Never mind. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. <laughs> yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Maybe. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. All right. So this is oh, definitely. Friend, you, you this is definitely New Orleans. Immigrant. I mean, I knew that before. But we would this 100% New Orleans. All right, motherfuckers. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. All right. 
Thanks. Thanks for the help. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. There's some, some damn kids. Hey! Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob Brett. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. Well, don't y'all get any Come ideas? On, Cleet, you better stay the fuck out from behind me. Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Because I will back slap the on, shit out then. your ass. I'm you right here. City, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, that's your ass. That's your ass. Get going. He's coming after us. I'll kill you, thieving bastard. Fuck! Run. Whoops. 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 Better not get on that goddamn train. Shit! Why'd they run me this way? Come back here! You little motherfucker! Oh, that's... Come here. Come here, horse. Come here, you little shit. Think you can get away from me now? You didn't know my horse was parked out front, did you? Oh, you don't think so, motherfucker? This train is fast as fuck! Oh, shit. Come on now, I ran his ass over. Where'd he go? You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Fuck a Bob Tail. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. That's enough. Come here. Come here, you little son of a bitch. More! Oh, you went this way. Fucking this town, man. Bye, mister. <laughs> shit. You didn't know I was a damn parkour artist, did you, you little shit? Hey, big love. Get love. What happened? Oh, you stopped talking shit now, huh? You're making a fool of yourself. I'm about to make a fool of whooping your ass. Come here, motherfucker. This fucking kid, man. Come here. I don't give a shit about my ankles. You all right, ah! old man. Not really. I broke my goddamn ankles. Give it up, kid. Fuck out the way, sir. <sighs> hey, where the goddamn kid go? I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15. Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. All right, appreciate it. Boo! Hey, hey, you little son of a bitch! Oh shit! I like you. Are you fucking kidding? Run! You better stop right now. Come here, motherfucker. Mm. Mm. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? 
Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. If I don't get my Bronte, goddamn he's got money back. Fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. I'm coming back, and I'm beating the fuck out these children. I better have all my damn money back. There it is, motherfucker. Shit! This town, man. I swear to God, every time, every corner I turn around, I'm getting robbed, I'm getting killed, I'm getting fucking attacked, and then getting the cops caught on me like I did something wrong. This place is crazy. This place is crazy as hell. Come on, move. Dutch, where the fuck was you at? I just about got robbed by the goddamn The Lost Boys. Peter Pan was about to put in my ass over there. Hey, Dutch! Fuck you at? There you are. Where you been? Don't even get me started. Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Okay. Now, if I could just do it without getting robbed again, that'd be great. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. I feel like I'm about to get robbed again. Listen, I just want to see the map, right? I don't need to see all that shit all the time. God damn it, why are all the shops closed? Let's see if they really are closed. It's because the trapper said it was closed. But he's right here. Everything's open now. All right, good. Good. Fucking finally. Let's go get our goddamn haircut, y'all. Look out. Fuck out the way. Come here, horse. Maybe I won't get robbed if I'm on my goddamn horse. I need to eat, too. Salted cheese. I'll take some of that. Yeah. You doing good, horse? Yeah, you're good. Ha! Huh. Fuck me, man. Fuck you. All right. I've already been nice to a couple beggars. Don't you know how to control that thing? I don't trust anybody in this fucking city. Whoa! Go ahead and hitch my horse. I'm back again. Ooh, looks like I should sharpen my razor. Why don't you shut the fuck up? So what'll it be today? Trim my hair up again. What was what I say? I had a right party fade. Yep. Cut my shit short again. Yeah. Yeah. You like that shit, huh? 
Makes a man look ten years younger. You ain't lying. Look at facial hair. Okay, my shit looking kind of crazy. It's getting long for sure, but you see this damn all the squigglies around the bottom? I don't like that shit. Let's just try a chin. Oh, yeah, definitely trim up the mustache, remember? We normally like our mustache to be about a four. Like I always say, your hair is your first impression. Yeah, about a four. Chin will keep. We're going to do these chops. They bring them chops in a little. Oh, we're looking damn good now. Maybe one more. Nah. Makes us look too gaunt. There we go. If we do the chin. If we do it just one, you get rid of some of them curlies. I don't know though. I don't I don't mind the bush. I don't mind that big ass bush, you know. Oh, I gotta click it to buy it, don't I? Be like a four. Now that isn't half bad, huh? We'll do it here. Dude, that's about a six. The chin. So that's a lot of length. Look at that. That's a lot gone. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it where it is. All right. Um, I could change the style of my chin. Remember? Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, that's stupid, Just but damn. Name your style. What about, um, oh, I trimmed it now, so I can't go up tall. Sideburns. I can't really do shit with them now because I cut them. Look back through. That's what I got going on is the burn side. Birdie. Shit, that's what I got already. All right, we good. All right, we good we can to go. All the latest trends. I'm good. All right, I'm well, looking down. I guess we're all done here. Yes, we are. Appreciate your business or your service or whatever the fuck it is. I appreciate you. Which way's my horse? This way. Don't watch yourself. Hey, I'll fucking destroy you too. Fuck this city. I ain't taking shit from nobody in this town. All right, horse. I thought I had some shit stored on my horse. Let's go, girl. Let's go. All right, in my hat. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot I could put my hat on for my horse. Hell's wrong with you. Man, shut the hell up. Everybody in this town is rude as fuck, man. There's goddamn strangers everywhere. Look, three strangers. One of them was a beggar asking for money. We gotta find this boy first. Alright, there's a kid out here that needs our help. Horn blows. How about the driver? All right, Dutch. Y'all ready to go meet this motherfucker? Trying to get these little kids to rob me. All right. All right, you sons of bitches. What's up? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up a place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, 
You're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. <coughs> I guess. You better be okay, John. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, now, boy. There you go. The special Dutch charm I heard so much about. Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. That's what I thought. Yeah, I ain't taking my damn guns, though. Just so you know. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. Sorry about your nose. need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Nice shotgun. What you gonna do with that, huh? Not shit, I presume. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. You heard him. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. Uh, John Marston. <laughs> all mine, please. Ha ha ha. Where's the goddamn boy? <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A what of is it? The grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it. The best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men. Of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mister Van der Linde. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Whoa, that sounded a little like a come on. Salute. Salute. And just so for the record, I'm better dressed than anybody in this motherfucker. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah, watching cartoons up in my room.